Today is ours of the day, your stepdad. Hello everybody, how are we all doing today? Hope all is well with you on this fine afternoon at the time of this recording. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the Smorgasbord Podcast. Um, I missed y'all. Hope we're all doing okay. Appreciate uh, the support in the last video. It's been great. The interaction on social media and YouTube's been awesome. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link to it like somewhere up here when the, the little eye come across the screen. Um, feel free to check that out. So I reviewed um, another person on this list that I got sent um, by Dez. Shout out to him. I believe your stepdad, uh, which is the name of the artist. I'm not talking about your actual stepfather if you have one. I believe he was the last one that I needed to review on that list because I believe it was Tay Retro, Justice Xavier, Finesse Mo, and I think and I think him. So I think he's the last one. And every person that does has sent me has, and, and obviously Jolt. I reviewed Jolt already before he sent the list. But yeah, everyone he's, who does has sent from the list has been really awesome. So I expect really no different. I, he's pulling a lot of streams. Out. I think like damn near the most out of the, the whole list because his top song is at 5.6 million so which is uh, pretty impressive for those of you who don't know how artist of the day works we pretty much take a new artist we listen to about three to five songs um from them we talk about what we like we talk about what we don't like and we then um go from there and we give them a review and a rating as an artist as a whole if you want your music reviewed or if you or want a possibility of being uh the next artist of the day all you have to do is first subscribe then follow us on social medias on follow us on Instagram, um, both the personal and the podcast account. Both all the links will be down in the description below. Once you do that, then message either account. Um, I'm active on all social media. I answer back to all messages. And let me know what you want me to review. A little bit about whatever the artist is, who the artist is. Like if it's yourself or it's your friend's music, tell me a little bit about them. Um, and send me a link to whatever you want me to review. It can be an album, it can be an EP, it can be a, just a song, it can be a for, or it can be a profile of an artist to be an artist of the day. Before we get into the review, we have to read the Spotify the synopsis or the little description about who they are because this is this is this is new, and they actually have one this time. Born as Gregory Bozzelli, famously known as Your Stepdad or Doo Wop, Pops is a Chicago. Uh, raised intellectual property owner recruited to lead the, the youth to a broader understanding of life. His raw and witty commentary about his own life experiences has amassed a diehard fan base for, of all walks of life. In the late winter of 2021, Pops gained his initial buzz via TikTok music video snippets presenting music he never planned on releasing. While his main styles of hip-hop may vary, some of his most prominent works such as Too Much Faith and Valuable are, some, are just the minor intonations of his influential sound in the new wave of drub sub of drill subgenre. Wow, don't worry, I can read. Aesthetic drill. Hmm. Well, I, I swear, I feel like I know what that is. I just feel, but right now at the top of my head, I can't think of what the hell aesthetic drill would sound like. I guess we're about to see. Although he's shown his dominance in the drill subgenre, your stepdad isn't afraid to experiment with cutting edge sounds that are sure to alter the trajectory of the music industry. Your stepdad is here and here to stay. Written by Laura Q, stepfather E N T. Uh, shout out to to Laura Q. Um, it's a good insight to who he is. Um, I'm expecting some something interesting then. Because I again aesthetic drill, I'm drawing. There's so many subgenres to all kinds of music at this rate. Um, like I'm trying to think of what the hell that would even sound like. I'm trying to remember if it's gonna be a bunch of like, if it's like Central C's Let Go, I might have an amazing time here. If you want to check out any of the songs that we review in their entirety, I'll leave a link to uh, Doo Wop's music down below as well as his Instagram. Go support him. Go check him out. First track is titled Too Much Faith. Oh, tell me why I can't leave alone. She cut, copied, and pasted out of my dreams. My thoughts is holding me from my brain. Oh, it's this kind, okay. Fall with a bad hoe, inspired me to write raw shit. I'm hurt as hell because I really like it. That's my fault. I'll fall quick for these hoes. Mm. I'm really sad, just call my bros. Okay, I'll talk that honesty shit. Oh, yeah, this is Bob, man. This is group. I like this. Okay, it's, it's, it's catchy. I like it. It's good. Song is way too short. Song is way too short. It, it, like literally, uh, uh, everything else about it, I like. I like it. it I like how low key it is. Um, it has a playful instrumental. 
Um, he flows very well. I like the match, what he's talking about, talking about pretty much being, he had put too much faith in these, in, in these girls and these hoes, and uh, he got his heart broken. He just, you know, he, he you know, he's a sucker for, for, for love and all that. And he pretty much just got hurt, and he's just talking about that. I like that. Like, like that's cool. Mixing's fine. Instrumental's playful. It's fun. Low-key. Flows are tight. It's just way too short. It's way too short to even get into. It doesn't even feel complete. It has a really catchy hook. It has a pretty solid verse when he rides in. It has a hook, and then it's like a minute 14, and it doesn't... Yeah, it's, it's, it's just incomplete. It's cool. It's going on the playlist. It's just incomplete. Next track is titled Scar. Mm, okay. Is he gonna go? This thing is like shorter than the left song. Tony Montana, I don't mind talking down all of them niggas that spoke on my back. Like mm. I blame the stack is they quiet. Hey, all the glamour. Hey, bring up my confidence. Always been full of them. Man in the middle, I'm stupid, so I can't fuck with them. He's going band. right now. Oh my god. I don't know how to feel when I keep grinding to make sure that all of my sandbox niggas can eat. What if I'm wasting my time and these niggas just kill me for weed? What if. Hey, huh. Damn. This bitch Damn. Damn. Need to give me the thought off they sleep. How many people gonna tell me they love me before they can finally get what they need? Hey. Yeah. Uh. That's damn. That's that's real. That's some real shit right there. That's it. That's it. That's how it ends. Really? Really? <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. So, uh, solid song. Beats kind of bland, but it's it's solid. Um, but again, same issues. It's, it's uh, I love the flows. Conceptually, he talks about a lot of great stuff. You know, talking about um, you no know, fears of betrayal and and feeling used and not really being valued for who they are and really valued for what they um, can bring to the table. But again, uh, there's nothing really to dig into when your song is the length of a seven, what, what was it, a, an extra long TikTok? I don't know. <laughs> it's cool, but because how short it is, there's nothing memorable about it. And, and I think there's a lot of great ideas that he could have definitely expanded upon um, on it for sure. So it's it's all right for, it's okay for the time it runs on, but I, I think it definitely could have, could have, there's a lot of wasted potential with that one. Next track is titled Holus Romantic. For complications, kill your spirit and you over drink or over smoke. I hide my emotions in an overcoat and I can't deal with mm, I hide my emotions in an overcoat. I've been using females for my cravings. I just mow the boat and I go back to sink it because nobody trying to row the boat. Murder, murder, murder. So my love is like a rodeo. You know, I would mm. kill myself for you, but I ain't Romeo. <laughs> Bitch, get off. But I want to test this love because from them told me you was faking. I want to make you salty just in case a nigga make it. Hey, I want to see you salty. <laughs> This is like a more of like a poem rather than it's a rap, but I like it. It's working right now. Go back to your apple. That's a. I respect that. I think that's good. See that one was one of the first the first song I've heard that sounds like somewhat still fleshed out like fleshed out. It's almost two minutes, which is longer than than the other songs by by by, by a good amount. Um, but yeah, I like that one. I think I think he really expands upon more themes in terms of like heartbreak and being in like a toxic relationship and just being like a you know. I, I like the place the play on a hopeless romantic, hopeless romantic, um, pretty much you know all that. Playful instrumental, it does feel like a word, a wordy, like a poem more than it is a rap, a, a, a rap. Uh, because he's like ever so slightly off, like off the where you would be like on beat wise, but it works. Um, and a lot of biting bars, you know, he keeps his emotions in an overcoat. I like that as part of the hook. I think it's catchy. Very dramatic in terms of like uh, how he, how his, how the themes of what he talks about progresses, progresses throughout. And um, the instrumental uh, is good. It, it's different and it switches as, it, as he continues. So I think it's an engaging. I think right now that that's definitely I'm, I'm putting that one on the playlist for sure. Uh, it's going on the playlist. And um, yeah, I, I like that one. I like that one. I think it, that was a good one. That was good. Next track is titled "Valuable." <laughs> Okay, hello? You know how they get when you touch their soul. Cut her off, so I want her back. I get her back. I chase the hoes. I did it wrong, but can't let go. She said, I'll chase these basic hoes. At least get okay. you far from me. I, get, I just want you close. My brain longer than I can see. The richer I get, the more at peace. All my gang get 20 apiece. All my There's no way he's writing out the rest of you. Know I'm about to say. I get her back. I chase the hoes. I did it wrong, but can't let go. She said, I'll chase these basic hoes. At least.
Let's get you some grateful hope. I like my big fan of the instrumental. Right now. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that one. I think the instrumental is good. I think it's uh, it's the most engaging of of the three. But I think that's where the good things for me personally stop and start or start and end kind of. Thematic what he talks about again it's kind of the same thing. I like it. His he's got good flows and and, and, and tight flows. Um, if only they were somewhat on beat, though. <laughs> and I get it. I know. I know. I know what flow he's trying to do because I've um, I've done freestyles at school back back you know in theater class and and there I know people who rap just like that, um, which it probably has its place. But for me, I just don't like it sometimes because it's so off beat all the time. It's not. I don't think it's hard to like even catch um, what the hell you're trying to really focus on because also because the mixing is a bit louder. Um, it, you don't know if you're supposed to follow how his flows are because he um, and it's very like Eminem choppy, or um, or do I follow the instrumental who has that very a wavy a wavier like I said aesthetic drill type style? Um, I think it's all right. I don't think it's a terrible song, but I'm not. I don't think it's for me personally. And the final track um, we'll listen to is titled "Butterfly Effect" featuring Khalil. <laughs> Hey. Hello? Hey. Hey. hey, hey, never trust my gun on goofy bitches. Niggas got their heart broke. Why the fuck they print all your pieces before the rap? I work that domino. These niggas know why I never speak about. I got a couple bucks and rent it up. I ain't just sit it out. Drew it up and execute while niggas had to duke it out. I know. He said I'm moving like, annoying as hell on niggas' heads. I'm moving like some lice. Chose without them phony pigs. Only like my thick hoes. Not them little bony tits. Like, what are you trying to take from me? You only post to grow me, bitch. Khalil dominated that entire track. Uh, you know, again, short as hell. I feel like they should have, they could have definitely kept going with that. Just fell. That was fun. That was a fun one. That one's actually, I'll put that one on the playlist, actually. Uh, that's going on the playlist. Uh, I thought what well, that was fun. That was funny. Um, they had a lot of funny bars, like a wit one of the on the wittier side. Um, for both of them actually. Um, speedy flows. The chemistry was good. Um, the beat was actually really good, really engaging. A lot of driving energy. Uh, again, I just would love to see it go longer. I would love to see it go longer, but I I think that one that one was good. That was a nice pick me up. Uh, from the, a couple others that we've heard, but you know, um, uh, yeah, it was good. It was good. All right, that was. Uh, your stepdad or doo wop? Uh, how do I feel about him as an artist overall? I can see the definitely see the appeal of him. I think uh, there's a lot of great things I hear. Uh, I think he has really nice flows. I think his ability to tell, tell, um, to present ideas um, are pretty good. I like hit the tightness of how he raps, like the style of how he raps. I think he does. I think he's very mature in how he how he puts songs together at times, and I, I think he does it really well. I think he's funny. I think it is witty. I think it is. Uh, uh, it, it's very tongue in cheek, and it just seems very playful. But again, kind of that's where it starts and stops with me for me personally. Um, the songs are way too short. I don't know why the hell he just won't like literally he will if he rapped longer i would love to see him expand on the ideas of you know being feeling like you just being hoed or feel a hopeless romantic or hopeless romantic in his case betrayal too much faith in being heartbreak you know fun freestyles the poetry uh, that he gave on valuable was was nice i feel like that was the actually most closest thing to a fully fleshed out song was valuable and hold this romantic and they're still under two minutes and i'm not saying he has to make like a five like it's like money trees six minute song i'm not saying that but there's a lot of ideas that he starts off strong and it just either abruptly stops or just feels very inconclusive like there's no like he could have expanded deeper um and and i just feel like it could have helped him a lot more if he had just rapped longer and i just don't think it, it, it's because of the fact of because of it being so short Plus the fact that a lot of these instrument, instrumentals, while they're okay, they're not very, like, there's nothing that really makes it be like, ooh. A lot of these are just not very memorable. Like, Too Much Faith is is good, but Scar is not memorable to me. Uh, valuable, I, I, with the instrumental being different, I still can barely remember that. Um, I just remember it being off, kind of off kilter a little bit. But it was still solid, so... I don't know. I would just love to see him expand on the ideas more. I I, I think he I think the fact that he's rapping, um, 
at a level that I feel like would be as entertaining, I would love to see him just do it a little bit longer. I, I don't. I just think he, these are like honestly clips, and uh, it just leaves me worried of being like, uh, if because like, there's multiple albums here, and if you guys want me to review an album, I can. Um, just let, if you guys want me to want me to, let me know, and I will. But at the same time. How much of an idea can you really expand on when, like, the, your longest song is up, is two minutes, while everything else averages to about a minute, five seconds? It lacks presence in your mind, and even with the small runtime, you still can do a lot. And I feel like he starts off strong. I just don't, I just feel like the finish either isn't as strong or just simply isn't there. But hey, I think he's pretty solid. If I were to give him a rating out of ten, I give him a strong five to a light six. Uh. If you guys want to check out any of the songs that we heard in their entirety, um, the link to be down below to, to his Instagram, to do ups Instagram and uh, music. Be sure to go check him out. Go support him. Go give him a follow. While you're down there, please like the video and subscribe. Uh, we're 26 subscribers away from 200. Uh, we'll be getting a lot more traction each of days um, with the interaction on social medias and all that. So thank you for sharing. Please keep sharing these videos. More eyes on these videos means more eyes on the artists, and that's always the end goal. If you want to be the next artist of the day, all you have to do, all you have to do is subscribe, follow the Instagram li li links down below, and uh, from there, uh, send message me a link to whatever you want me to review. And uh, I take re I take requests top priority, and I'm getting more and more each day. So the sooner you send it in, the better. While you're down in the description, check out my music. Check out the, my group, music group, The Balanced Ones. Um, we're almost at 1,000 streams on I Got Time. I think we're at 717 right now. So if we can get that to 1,000, that would be a third song on 1,000 streams. That would mean a lot. Check out also my personal profile, Dark Side. Um, we have two songs. My most recent song, uh, Dream On, featuring Oza, who's now back in Japan. Shout out to Oza, man. And Maggie Watson, of course. Um, links to all that will be down below. Um, with that being said, today's artist of the day was your stepdad. Links down below. Stay safe. Take care. Love y'all. Bye-bye.